to sign with the Patriots. Now you've got this like one two situation, some shutdown corner action potentially uh, with Malcolm Butler there. there we have Ian Rappaport saying the expected price tag hefty 14 million a year. Eclipsing that, apparently. It's big. Okay, I did my top five defensive free agents yeah. of the 2017 class, and I said number one was Stephon Gilmore, and he goes to the defending Super Bowl champions. This is why this is such a big story. This is the hottest name on the market. He is yeah. a lockdown corner. He's a former top ten pick, and he goes within the division, just like Chris Hogan did last offseason, to crush the souls of Buffalo Bills fans, now in a New England Patriots uniform. And what's amazing about the Patriots is <laughs> I, I do this a long time. Yeah. I've done this for ten years. But at no point in any conversation did I hear the Patriots were in on Stephon Gilmore. Don't None. need to. Guess what? We wake up this morning. We get in our seats at the Nook. The best free agent on the market is going to the defending Super Bowl champion. Hey, Pete, Pete, I, he crushes the souls of Bills fans. Look, they keep, they're getting the tie rod. Okay, this is good. The Dolphins fans, we're keeping stills. We're good. And then the Patriots just say, how about this? We got Gilmore. Right. This is our division still. It's incredible, Nate. You know, it's funny because you said at no point did we think that the Patriots were interested in Gilmore. But I'm pretty sure they had interest for a long of time. Yes. It's the Patriots, right? It's the Patriot way. But you're right. Right before the commercial break, you were yelling over the highlights and you're saying this is a bomb. This is a big deal. And Peter, you are right. This is a huge deal. The defending champs going out making a huge splash. First of all, it's the Patriots. They don't go out usually first day and say, we are going to sign a big dog and give him big dog money. And now you got a guy, 30 PBUs, five interceptions last year. This is an absolute dog at the cornerback position. And then you couple that with Malcolm Butler? who was already one of the feistiest, nastiest, mm -hmm. quick, in fast cornerbacks in the game. You see what he did up against top-tier wide receivers. Now you add this on the other side, just when you think the Patriots are relaxing. No, 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 folks, they just got even better. It's a lot of money. It's a big money, okay, Kate, right? So 14, if he's slated to make over $14 million, which obviously aren't the exact numbers, it's a great move. It's sort of a surprising move. Uh, Logan Ryan might be saying bye. Marty McBye, we know Martellus Bennett on the trade for Dwayne Allen. They've got other free agents, though, mm -hmm. to deal with and re-sign. They didn't tag Dante Hightower, mm -hmm. right? So you're saying, like, Stephon Gilmore was on your list. For me, what's going to happen with Hightower, who clearly there's a market for him? What are, I mean, Is there, they, I, yeah, I, I, think so. I think so. Yes, he'll go I mean, get paid somewhere. You've got guys like Jabal Sheard. You've got your LeGarrette Blunt. Yeah. You've got uh, Martellus Bennett, Dante Hightower. I mean, there's just a lot of, of guys, and this is sort of an interesting, interesting See move. Ya. They might be able to peace out. Turn the, turn the page. Mil, 14 mil? That sounds like Happy Gilmore, huh? Yeah. Huh? 